a little bit. Open up the back side. Yeah, there you go. What do you want to do, Meg? Do you want to just get them done or here? Do you want to do it or no? Wait, I want to try it on it. Wait, wait. Oh, wow. George? Where's my hooks? We're going to see you in the world, right? We're just cousins right now, yep. We're going to go take a picture of this group, all right? <laughs> Wait, let's try that again.
first, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this wonderful day. It's no accident that each of you were invited to be here today because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Megan and Dan. I truly can't think of a better venue than the Camden Boathouse for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete, the person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place, the person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Megan, that happened roughly 25 years ago at St. Peter's Hospital's maternity ward. When our eyes met for the first time, and again, about six years ago when she met Dan, who's also, <laughs> who's also pretty wonderful. It's terribly easy to see how deeply these two care for and love one another. And I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of that love. That time magically seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always appreciated. I know it's not just any couple that communicate with simply a look or say I'm sorry every time it's warranted, eventually. <laughs> they do that for and with each other. What I wish for them on their wedding day is that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete contentment, full of those moments that they wish would never end, and that they continue to make one another smile and laugh as they make each of us do. Do you, Dan, take Megan to be your wife, to cherish in friendship and love today tomorrow and for as long as the two of you live. To trust and honor her, to love her faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And should you ever doubt to remember your love for each other and the reason why you came together with her on this day? I do. Do you, Megan, take Dan to be your husband? To cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow and for as long as the two of you live. To trust and honor him, to love him faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And if you should ever doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason why you came together with him on this day. I do. Okay, please have the rings. You've chosen to exchange rings as a symbol of the promises you make today. They will be a reminder to you of the love you've cultivated these past six years and all the joys yet undiscovered that lie in your journey ahead. Megan, please repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. I'm yours today and forever. I'm yours today and forever. Dan, please repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. I'm yours today and forever. I am yours today and forever. It is my great honor to stand beside both of you today, joined by the people that love and support you the most as you take this next step. By the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Fraley.
but the best in life. I'm so happy for the two of you. And thank you, Delran, for bringing us together, Meg. I love you. Cheers, Meg and Dan. We're so happy for you guys. Wish you a lifetime of happiness. We love you. Awesome. <laughs> Happy wedding day, guys! This was a fabulous ceremony. Beautiful. Wishing you a great life. Welcome to the family, Megan. Welcome to the family, Megan, and congratulations to you and Danny. We love you. We hope you have a happily ever after. Congrats, Megan, Dan, Farley. You, you, you've joined in to the greatest sports better in history. Congrats to Dan and Meg, Farley. Um, I love you guys. Best wishes in the future. Congrats, Dan and Meg Farley. Thank you for the fish bowls. Appreciate it. Congrats to Dan, Commissioner Dan Farley and Megan. Thanks for having us, and I wish you guys a happy rest of your life. Awesome. Congrats, guys. It's about time. Love you guys. Right, Dan and Megan, this is phenomenal. This wedding you've done, you guys did such a great job with it. Um, I know you guys are going to have such a great life together. I'm yeah, honored to be a part of it. Yes, sir. And, uh, and yeah. congrats, congrats. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. Happy to be a part of the family. Yeah. There we go. It was, Cheers. It was this event and then <laughs> congratulations. Love I love so y'all. happy to see you Congratulations. <laughs> love you.
come away with me only once Come away where they can't tell us with their lies And I want to walk with you on a cloud Hi everyone Thank you all for coming. I just want to say a few words before Caitlin, Fred, and AJ do their toasts. Megan and I just wanted to thank everyone for coming today to share this special moment with us. We wanted to take the opportunity today for everyone to see that Megan and I are best friends and to share with all of you how much we love each other. It means a lot for both of us, for all everyone has done to make today really great. Uh, I just want to shout out a couple of the people who have made today really great, who made it happen. And I'm just gonna shout out a bunch of names. Uh, hold your applause to the end, and we can give everyone a big round of applause, all right? Cool. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank our parents, mom, dad, Jennifer, and Craig. Today doesn't happen without you guys. It's been so awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, also, the grandparents, Nana, Papa, Susan, Betty, Patty, Rob, Bernie, and Carla, for all of your help behind the scenes over the past couple months. Thank you guys so much. Next, John, who we have been tasked with officiating this ceremony, and he really did a fantastic job. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> Elizabeth as well for helping keep everyone organized for the rehearsal and ceremony behind the scenes. We wouldn't have known where to go. Everyone, she helped organize everyone. Thank you so much. Next, Jax and Andrew, who did an awesome job as our ring bearer of Power Thank you so much, guys. And lastly, I'd like to thank the groomsmen and the bridesmaids, all of you guys, over the past couple months. I've done so much to help for this, uh, for this event today. So would everybody please give a round of applause for all of you who have helped. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy to see you guys taking the relationship. Dan, you've been family to me ever since you're buying me alcohol and taking me to the <laughs> I would also like to add that our brother Ryan truthfully believes that Megan became a nicer person when she started dating him. Um, I'm not sure if I believe that is true exactly, but I do know that you two definitely bring out the best in each other and are better together than apart. Um, I'm honored to be here today supporting and celebrating you both. So here's a toast to the happy couple and a beautiful future together. So uh, the first time I met Megan, uh, Dan had taken us both to an Eagles game, this was, I don't know, five, six years ago. Uh, I think the fact that she was able to make it through an Eagles game with him was probably a good sign for the future. <laughs> and since then, though, I've grown to know Megan as a smart, a kind, a caring, one of the most empathetic people I know. Um, and in the same way I am able to rely on Dan for advice, I am now able to rely on Megan for advice as well. And um, you've felt like part of the family for a while now. You've made our family trip so much more fun. And I'm excited to go on more adventures with you guys as a family. I'm happy to call you sister-in-law. And so, uh, whatever the future holds, um, I am glad that Dan and Megan get to experience it together. Whatever problems arise in the future, these two will figure it out. So here's, let's toast to Dan and Megan.